Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. I made sure to turn up my mic this time, but I, so, today we're going to be just doing a quick tutorial. This is episode one on how you can make your own VR hands type game like this right here. So, in this you can open up a little menu to show your different options and stuff. You can... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, I accidentally. Alright, there we go. You can. So you use the. You use the left. Joy, or right joystick to go up and down, and then the other one to move around. You can also look around. You can grow. And then you can shrink back down. And then there's physics, like this right here and you can like kinda try and lift it up yeah. or if you get real big be much easier Go ahead. lift it up so first things first uh, you're gonna come to the developer forum which uh, you don't need to have, and you don't even need a Roblox account to come here. You don't need to log in at all. I'll leave a link to this exact post in the description below. And what you're going to go ahead and do, well, let me just. So what you're going to go ahead and do is, do is you're going to go ahead and click this right here, and then it's going to go ahead and download the file for you, and you're going to click open might take a little while it'll open up Roblox Studio and it's gonna open up this place right here so this these blocks have physics to them this does not and this already has all the stuff that you're going to need all this stuff you don't really need to worry about what does the head look like? I just want to see real quick. So, this is what your head will look like. You can actually edit this, and I'll show you how in just, just a moment. So, this is all the stuff. Don't really need to mess with it. Uh, although, if I can figure some of this out, I will... I will go ahead and uh, show you how you can edit... You the, edit your own game with these scripts. Otherwise, I'd say just, just you know, leave this for now. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you. We're just going to do a quick, quick part on how you can customize the hands and the head. So we're going to take the character model. We're going to take it out of storage and we're just going to put it right into workspace. So, this is the character. This, um, this little blob right here. Hold on. Uh, so, I'm going to take the left arm first. We're going to paste it right here. Okay. Never mind. And bring the whole model up like this. And, as you can see, there are textures in this, by the way. I don't know why the hand models don't want to work. Anyways, but uh yeah you can you can edit these. I just say try not to like edit them I don't know but I'm pretty sure I just told you to edit that but also don't edit that. I'm kinda confused why I said that. So go ahead and edit it. Okay, questions in the comments, please. <laughs> let's say I have a hand model that I want to use. Like, let's say I, I want my... I, I made this. And I want that to be the hand model. I don't know. You could do that. Do whatever you want. Anyways, so then you can edit the head. We got the head right here. Head... We're gonna go ahead and we can you can change the face. 
Uh, you can go ahead and change the color, like make it green head. You could add accessories, which I don't know if it already adds on, but yeah. There's um, a couple things you can customize anyways, so we're going to go ahead and put this right back in there once we're done editing it. And yeah, uh, be right back. Okay, one thing you're going to notice is that, let's say you want there to be people, other people in the game for you there, that are not on uh, VR. Well, we're going to have to, that's not, that doesn't work with this, so... What I'm gonna attempt to do is, if you watch some of that series, we can some of my other series that I'm still working on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add local script. Doesn't matter what the name is. I'll just name it something else, like um, oh, not this one, but the one we just created. Um, PC compatible. I don't know something. Anyways, so we're just gonna do game get sure. Oh, we need to do local. Service equals game get service VR service. So we're gonna do VR service dot so if VR service dot VR enabled equals equals true, then we're gonna just leave it. Else we're gonna wanna do so what I did was I what I did I had to make a few changes so it was not finding the player script, or it was not finding these scripts because they hadn't loaded yet. So what we're going to have to do is, right here, what it does is, in the player, it's going to go ahead and destroy any of the scripts making them in VR mode. Unless they are in VR mode, it's going to keep them, going to have them all be good. So now, since I have my VR fully unplugged, VR mode off, I can now do that. I can't move these, or I can, just barely. But see, now we can have VR players and non-VR players within our game. So we're going to reset. And see, even if I die, it's still going to go ahead and it's uh, still, still going to work. Okay, so I did plan on making more adjustments, but I'm going to have to do some more research and um, stuff like that before we can um, continue. I'm going to work on helping you guys comment what you want to see next for this series. It was, I hope you did enjoy it. So, com like I said, comment what you want to see next, such as maybe you want to see how to make a grabbable item that you can that like goes into your hand when you grab it and you can smack people or something. I don't know. But comment what we should add next to this series. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Once again, a link in, uh, to the place I used from this one awesome person on the developer forum. The link is in the description, so, yeah. Bye. Also, subscribe, because, yes.